When considering this property, we became interested in its history. After searching on the internet, little by little we found articles linked to a person by the name of Frank Edwards Norse. Prior to the property coming onto the market, we had returned from a holiday to France. During the holiday, we visited the Australian War Memorial at Villa Bretonneur. Villa Bretonneur is part of a region called the Somme, known for its largest and bloodiest conflicts. 10,000 young Australians with no known graves are memorialised here. How strange we would later find ourselves becoming owners of a young man's home who we had just visited unknowingly. We are the custodians of the memory and sacrifice the Norse family made. It should not be forgotten. Selina Norse was the mother of nine, four of whom signed up for World War I in 1914. Frank, Clarence, Walter and Louis. Frank was missing in action and wounded twice, but survived Gallipoli. He then travelled to Alexandria and on to the Somme. In late August 1916, Selina went to her three Scott Street letterbox to find a cable announcing the death of her 25-year-old son, Frank. He was killed in action at Mouquet Farm during the Battle of the Somme. It's likely Frank's letter dated July 25, 1916. This could take two months to arrive. Dear Mother, I received your letter a few days ago. I hope you're doing well at home. I'm doing fairly well over here, in usual health. I saw Walter again on Sunday before last, but had no time to speak to one another. The two battalions were moving along in opposite directions. It's a pretty country about here. In fact, it's the same wherever you go. A while ago, our company was on fatigues unloading trains. We broke all records for fast work. The general was also pleased with us. Well, Mother, I hope you get this short letter safely, and I'll write it every chance I get. Goodbye for this time. Your loving son, Frank. We are parents of two beautiful boys and the most beautiful thing is listening to our home filled with laughter and their little feet running through the house. However, we too often think about this house and the journey Frank's family would have had, how similar yet different our journeys are.